How you doing? It's Bob here with Odin's Locks. I want to do a quick video uh, about uh, the Freeman 2. I cover the HPC 1200 quite a bit because it just seems like it doesn't get covered a whole lot other than just, you know, people using it. They don't really talk about the intricacies about some of the of the, 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 HP, the HPC 1200 uh, or the Blitz, uh, all the different variations of the 1200. But I, I love my Freeman 2 and I do use it. Uh, I just don't use it as much because I... I don't know why everyone kind of has their go-to machine and uh, it's just my preference. I love my Freeman too, absolutely. Uh, it is my go-to for certain things that I do. Uh, for just common keys I come across, I just use the HPC. Um, so what I'm gonna cover in this video you can kind of watch is um, when I first bought my Freeman too, <clears throat> first key I cut was for my own house. I thought, awesome, I got this Freeman too. I go out and I cut this key and it didn't work. And I was like, stop, this is baffled. I was like, well, what happened? You know, I used my depth gauge, uh, you know, that you use uh, for your keys and it, it was all perfect. And I didn't know about, you know, this thing with the the root openings, uh, you know, of the, the, I can't even say it, the, of the, the keys. You know, when you cut the, the cutter, uh, if you have the right cutter, it's wide enough. If you don't, it's not wide enough. Anyways, uh, the root depth, uh, the depth opening, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so what I wound up having to do was uh, I figured out, you know, I got a line, uh, did whatever, and I, I figured out that you got to widen it up with the, the, the cutting wheel. If you don't have the, the actual cutting wheel that the Framing uses, I think the, the one they recommend Framing does is uh, FC9090. I had to look at my book here. And uh, FC8445 is the actual one that's standard on the framing. It comes with other key cutter uh, wheels, but uh, it's one of those things that uh, they're for other purposes, uh, like maybe uh, Medico. I can't even remember what all they come with. But um, So if you want the other one, you got to buy that separately. And most people don't worry about it because you can just use your standard wheel that's 45 thousandths land, and uh, you can use that and just widen it up. I turn it side to side. I don't go too far and it's hard on a wheel to cut sideways, uh, you know, each direction. It's not good for it. Uh, but for what you're doing, 20 thousandths on each side, it doesn't really matter. So anyways, uh, Quicks that recommends an 80 thousandths inch uh, opening where, uh, you know, you cut a wheel that's standard is 45 thousandths, but the wheel that they actually sell you is 90 thousandths. So you have a whole lot of fudge tolerance to, to open it up. Uh, you know, you probably can go a little bit narrower than an eighty thousandths, but uh, to make it work correctly, you want at least eighty thousandths. And uh, and I, I in the video you're going to see, I show you what happens when you don't do it and what happens. Uh, and surprisingly, you know, and I'll let you watch a video. I don't want to give away too much of the details. There are some interesting things in there that I didn't think about looking at either. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Sorry it takes so so long, and I shake around a lot and. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully you can understand everything I'm trying to say and point out. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the video. And by the way, when you watch the videos, look in the description. Sometimes I'll leave comments, links, uh, stuff like that. So, all right. Thanks. Bye-bye. By the way, I wanted to mention before you watch the rest of the video, um, there was a master pin in the, the lock that I actually took apart. And uh, so there was a key to that with a different depth. But... What I go off of is the number that was taped on the, the outside of the knob. So I had apparently used the Lishy tool to go ahead and decode that a while back, just playing around with the Lishy tool. And I didn't know that that master pin was in there. And then I also had a key that was cut to that specific depth, which is different, but uh, you can't really see right there. Anyways, I just want to throw that in there. So don't get confused. You know, if you see a different key, I, I mix them up by accident in a couple spots. So, but I did cut to the right one that it was without the master pin or with. I can't remember now. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the video. Thanks. All right, Bob here with Odin's Lock. I'm going to cover something here that doesn't get talked about too much. I think I'm going to probably do uh, uh, an intro to this video to kind of discuss a little bit better in detail. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you this as part of this video too. All right, so most, uh, when you buy a frame in, this cutter here is what's usually going to be used the most. It's the 8445 FC, and uh, that is uh, 45 thousandths flat. And what that means is, I'll probably do a picture in here. So when you go to zero and you go to 45 thousandths, I can get it on there, roughly right about there. 
That is the flat that you're gonna see. Let me turn on the light over here. That is the flat. Now, quick set is about 80 thousandths. So if you do that and then go up to about 80, it's a lot wider than that flat is right there. And so when you look at what they usually recommend for the quick set, it's actually a 90 thousandths flat. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, let me go to the page here, quick set, it will tell you 80 thousandths. So what happens is when you first put a quick set key in there and you decide to cut it, if you don't know about this one particular issue, and it's common on a quick set, you don't, I don't know if you really use it, uh, have this problem on a lot of the other keys you use, they'll all kind of tell you, you know, the flat you're looking at spaces, it cuts are 80 thousandths wide. Sometimes they tell you that, sometimes they don't. But uh, anyways, so what happens is if, when you cut your key, so say like our, our first cut here is uh, 0.247. Let me see if I can turn this on. I haven't even plugged it in. Yeah, sorry to move the camera around and waste your time. Okay, frame two. All right, so what happens is we do 247 thousandths. There's uh, 50, 100, 50, 200, we go to 47. That should be your first cut right there. I already have it kind of dialed in. 150 thousandths clean spaces. So I'll put that right there. So that right there, what happens is, what we will do is we will go ahead and cut this like I'm supposed to. And so your first depth of this one here, let me grab piece here. I just pulled one out of here. Four, five, six. So we'll do uh, two, six, zero. And so that is two, five. Let's do two, six, zero. Okay, so. Alrighty. And then uh, two, three, seven. So once you set that up with this line up, you pretty much go on to the next one. And so the next cut would be a five as a two, three, seven. I uh, just go back down. So there's two, three, seven. Okay. Now I'm not lighting this cut though. We're just gonna show you what happens. And then the six would be a point two one four. So. Two, one, four. Uh, and then go to the next one. See, and that's awesome. Okay, and then uh, three, well, two, eight, three, and go ahead and move that now. Three, so it'd be two, eight, three, so that's two, five. Okay, it should be, let me go back here. I don't use this one that much. That's 250, 26, 27, 283. And so that should be. And then down one more. It's hard to do this and look at the camera at the same time. Alright, so that's a quick set cut without doing any of the, the width. So what happens is you'll have a key that looks like this versus this. So interestingly, you know, I don't, this one here, I've set up this quick set smart key. So see if that works. Let me deburr this real quick here. And we will make sure I've got it ready to go on the deburring. Sorry for moving this around. <laughs> okay. I had to deburr that. So that's what you got. That's that and that's that. So now it makes you wonder what would happen if you did it in the quick set smart key. And it works. Without doing the widening, it works in that. So here, though, you'll see the difference. I think there's a master pin right there. I've got a mix mosh of uh, different pins. So you'll see the tapered pins. Let me grab my flashlight over here. 
tapered pins and they're standard pins. I don't know why I did that, but it actually might work in our favor here for this. So then when you put this in, you're going to see what happens. So I'll take that out. See, it won't... See, it doesn't let them go down far enough because the root opening is not wide enough. And so what you have to do with that key is you have to go in there and you'll widen it. And so what we'll do is we'll cut another key real quick so you can see what happens, how you widen them. Sorry for moving around. Okay. Hard to do all this and hold the camera. I have a, a camera mount, but the problem is it uh, has this problem where it makes my camera zoom in and out on focus. I don't know why. All right, so we'll go back. I don't have to go back to the 247. We'll just go back to square one here. I will show you how I widen these up. So the first cut was a four. We'll do a two six and a zero. So I just go down to two five zero. I know. Okay, and then two six zero. So what I do is I'll pull. Okay. Too fast. Pull. And you don't really have to go too much. Just Go back and forth. Hard to do this with one hand, so bear with me. You go to the next cut. That's a four. A five is a two three seven. So you go to the two, and then uh, let's see three seven. I'm doing it one-handed. I don't recommend doing it that way. I'm just showing you. Okay, and then a six is a two one four. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. These you don't really have to worry so much about going too much into the other depths, you know, the root depth of the other ones. So, three and three, it's uh, two, eight, three. So, five, You have to widen it enough, and it's not an exact science on it, so. so that's that. All right, that's a lot wider, ain't it? And so, here, let me pause this and deburr that real quick. Hold so, on, back to that. I just had to pause and deburr it. So, you gotta watch that little master pin right there. I'll put it back in just for the sake of this, what I'm showing you, and it works perfect. So that's what happens if you don't if you don't widen the cuts. And you do the math, you know, it's not like it's a real rocket science. But it will uh, mess you up. First time you try to cut one, it won't go through. But it will on a quick so smirky. And they don't matter if it's widened or not. So that is kind of interesting to know. I hadn't even tried that, hadn't even thought about it. Usually quick set, I just go ahead and I wind up using my HPC because I don't want to fudge around with the, the framing. It's like I use, my framing is my best machine. It's the top notch. Uh, the HPC is the is the one I, I beat the heck out of. And uh, you know, I calibrate it regularly. 
But um, the frame it too, if I want exact down to the thousandth of an inch, I know I can guarantee you that this will work. And there is ways to calibrate it if it gets out of calibration. But I just wanted to show that if you wind up doing this with a quick set and you first key on the frame and two with the quick set, just remember you got to widen the cuts. And, uh, you know, you do the math, 80 thousandths wide uh, is what you need. You're 45 thousandths, so you just need to widen it 20 thousandths each, each side. And uh, not even, you know, it's... Even the cutter that they recommend for framing, or I mean for the schlag, that framing recommends, is 90,000. So that's even wider than what you need for the quick set. 80,000 is wide versus 90,000 for the quick set. Smart key. Or, uh, well, I mean, quick set standard. And a uh, smart key, I guess it doesn't matter. Because, uh, I mean, you're using slider pins inside that. It doesn't even matter if it's widened or not. If you, uh, and as you see in this lock here, some of these pins are standard pins, so let me pull this out here. This is, uh, what I did here was, this is the one that shouldn't work. And it's a little off, you can tell, because it's, uh, so that's a standard pin. It's a slider, or that's a, the, oh, the chamfered pin, that's standard quick set, right there. And then, uh, that's a, cut the master, okay, now that's a standard pin. That's got a master. Where did that master pin go? I think I fell. fell out. Yeah, it's sitting right here. Maybe that one right there, I think. But uh, you'll see, that's the problem. You know, the way these pins are, the taper is what's falling down inside there. You don't have no, much of a taper on this, much of a point. That's why you got to widen those cuts up. But uh, on a standard one, you don't really have to worry about it if you're using quick set smart key. If you look at that, that's what happens. It, it doesn't sit down far enough in it. So that is the problem with that, man. With this, of course, you got plenty of room. All kinds of room in there. But just wanted to go over that. Had a couple people uh, mention it. I've had the problem before too. And uh, that when you do a quick set, you got to widen the cuts. Even on uh, the. HPC, you gotta widen the cuts, and the card sh shows you that. I've already showed this a million times. I just, in case this is your first time watching, it will tell you to widen it right there. You bring the needle to both sides of that. Widen cuts only when using original pins. You don't have to in the, every other spec. And if you're using Smart Key, you don't even have to widen them for that. Now that we see that, I, I hadn't even thought about checking that, but even Smart Key, you don't need to worry about widening them. Only when you're using the standard chamfered pins. That's chamfered on both ends. Which, you know, I usually do that if it's a stock quick set. If I pull them out like that, I'll put them back in. But if it's, uh, I don't know why, I just do that with, with quick set. I always use the quick set original pins. If it's Defiant, Brinks, whatever, and they're using standard pins, I use standard pins. But, uh, anyways, just thought I'd throw that in there. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps uh, anybody, anyone out there that's, uh, wondering about the framing too it's wonderful you can get a cutter that works for quick set only uh and wiser and uh, the other ones but uh, in westlock but uh if you don't want to do that and just want to use the, the standard one you just got to widen the cuts twenty thousands. all right thanks for watching bye-bye